Here's how to fix Valorant has encountered a connection error. This could give you many different error codes, so let's go ahead and try and fix it in this video. Now, I do have to say that a lot of it comes down to your own connection. So, so before doing all of this, what I do recommend is checking on your actual Wi-Fi connection. Make sure you have a good Wi-Fi connection. If you have a LAN cable, make sure you connect those LAN cables properly. And then after you make sure that your Wi-Fi is working, then let's proceed in the computer. The first thing we want to do is right click on our Windows Start icon right here and head over to where it says Network Connections right here. Now, once you're on this screen on the network and internet, what you want to do is scroll all the way down and press where it says advanced network settings that is going to put you right here as you can see i have an ethernet cable connection but you probably have a wi-fi one which is okay it doesn't matter then once you're over here what i want you to do is head over to network reset and i want you to go ahead and reset your network a lot of the time that'll fix the issue but if that still doesn't fix the issue for you then let's go ahead and move on so what you want to do is head over to your search bar down here and type in services and then you want to go ahead and open the services system app in here just go ahead and open it that is going to put you right here and then in here you want to search for a service called vgc now you could have scrolled down all the way to v or you could just press v on your keyboard and then find vgc here now i don't have vgc right now but if you have valorant and you're having this issue you probably have vgc right here and what you need to do is right click on your vgc and then you want to press on properties now on the property you want to change the startup type into automatic make sure you put an automatic and then after you do that you want to press a start right here to start that vgc service app make sure you have it started if it says a stop in here that means that you started your service then you want to go ahead and hit apply and then you want to go ahead and hit okay now after you have vgc running what you want to do is close the services you don't need it anymore right now and then lastly what we're going to do is head over to search and we're going to type in cmd to open our command prompt and now we're going to open the command prompt but make sure you open it as an admin so press where it says run as an admin here do not open it as a normal user now once you press admin it's going to give you a little prompt my recording software doesn't pick it up but yours is going to show in there just go ahead and allow or accept this app to run and then it's going to open like this one in here now what you want to type in is the following you want to type in ip config and then a space then type in the slash and then type in flush dns just like that ip config flush dns make sure you put the slash and the space and then go ahead and hit enter that is going to flush your dns and then after that we're going to type the following we're going to type net sh a space winsock and then a space reset don't put a space at the end just type in this right here just like that and now we're going to hit enter one more time. And after that, you're going to get this in here saying you need to restart the computer in order to complete the process. So yeah, that's the last step to do now. You close your command prompt and you can go ahead and restart your computer and your issue should be solved. To restart your computer, just head over to start, right click on here and then press restart and that will restart your computer fixing your issue. Anyways, if this video helped you, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys next time.